For every mile traveled in the U.S., a motorcyclist's risk of a fatal crash is 37 times greater than that of a driver in a passenger car. A truly protective helmet can greatly reduce head injuries. Snell M2015 certified motorcycle helmets meet the highest standard in the world. And depending on size, they offer 60% to 110% more energy management than ECE helmets and 40% to 80% more than DOT helmets. Snell M2015 certification assures you the same protection enjoyed by most competitive racers. Let's hear some stories. I think it's the adrenaline rush. Um, I, like, I like the speed uh, that you can you know, launch a 95-foot jump and land it. It's, you know, it's almost like nothing else. And on the last lap, I was in fourth uh, coming down uh, what they call MX395, a very steep hill. I uh, hit a rock. I grabbed a rut going the other direction, and it threw me over the bars. And then the bike pounded me in the back of the helmet. Next thing I knew, everyone was standing up around me, looking at my helmet, and I was like, oh. What happened? The side here was all split, it cracked, and then the back here, it just completely broke open. It was a combination of a new, inexperienced rider on roads that were unfamiliar, having a car coming at me that had drifted across the line, and I swerved and the car swerved the same direction, unfortunately, and the bike ended up on my back and my head. Todd, Nick, and Sue's accidents were all different, but they all had one thing in common. They were wearing helmets certified by the Snell Memorial Foundation, a not-for-profit organization dedicated to helmet safety for over 50 years. It all started in 1956 when Pete Snell was killed in a single car crash in a, an amateur racing event in Arcata, California. And his friends and Dr. George Snively got together and uh, a year later formed the Snell Memorial Foundation mostly to help uh, Dr. Snively continue his research into helmets and head injury. In 1985, they split the standard into a, uh, now an auto racing standard and a motorcycle helmet standard. Today, Snell is recognized as a world leader in head protection, cooperating with all major standard organizations in helmet standards development, helmet testing, and certification. Snell operates its own 10,000 square feet state-of-the-art helmet testing lab in California. There are more than 35 manufacturers around the world making more than 500 model lines of Snell certified motorcycle helmets. Snell certification is the most widely recognized standard for helmets used in motorsports and motorcycle racing, such as NASCAR, Formula One, and Supercross. Here's why you should look for the Snell certified label before you buy helmets. Manufacturers come to Snell for our certification because people in the public are looking for Snell certified helmets to buy and to wear. And our uh, faith is with those uh, members of the public. Two other helmet standards, DOT for the U.S. and ECE for Europe, are mandatory. But both DOT and ECE set minimum levels of performance. And these days, helmets can do so much more. Most riders are liable to want and need every bit of what the best helmets can do. Snell testing hits helmets harder and against more punishing surfaces than DOT or ECE. In fact, Snell M2015 demands all the protective performance currently available to riders. And every Snell certified helmet must prove itself in Snell testing at a Snell lab before it can be sold with the Snell name and label. I teach life science to seventh graders. And so one of the things I teach them about is the human body and how much an impact accidents can have on the brain. And so I really credit that helmet with saving my life because it took the full weight of the motorcycle. And what we do is we will go out and buy samples of that helmet ourselves, bring them in and test them to be sure that they continue to meet all the test requirements that they pass in the first place. And in order to satisfy myself that there really is a difference, I wanted to go through and see what Snell did. And we actually saw brand name helmets that you know, are $700 being destroyed and tested. And it's not that they just try and make them pass. No, they do everything they can to kill the helmet. The most well-known test is uh, the test to see how well the helmet manages the energy of an impact. We also have a uh, test for face shields provided with full face helmets for uh, road debris and uh, small pebbles and whatever that might be uh, kicked up. The retaining system, it's tested for strength in one test, 
where we drop a load uh, on the retaining system itself and see uh, how much it elongates and if it breaks or not. The next test measures how well the helmet stays on your head. Um, we, we pull it from the front uh, with a specified amount of weight and then pull it from the back. And if the helmet comes off, um, it's grounds for a failure. We've got a uh, strength test for the chin guard where we'll drop a, uh, a weight onto it uh, from a height as a shock load and we'll measure the deflection of the chin guard and make sure that it does not deflect into the interior of the helmet by more than uh, six centimeters. We drop a point from a three meter height and we see if the uh, point can actually penetrate right through the helmet. We test one helmet cold, uh, we test one helmet hot, uh, we test one helmet rain soaked, and we test one helmet at ambient room temperature. The testing is actually very rigorous. It's very thorough. And I immediately went out and you know, bought the new Snell rated helmet and you know, continue on. And I don't think about my helmet being an issue for me. Uh, we're dealing with crash helmets here. Uh, what we're looking at is helmets that are going to uh, really help a person through that uh, five to 10 milliseconds of crash and out the other side. Helmets are designed to protect the head in one accident. A motorcycle helmet that has been impacted will no longer provide the same level of protection. The uh, most prudent thing to do if you've taken a good thump in a helmet is to replace it. In teaching, I always try and raise the bar for my students. I always try and raise the standards, get them to do a little bit better, a little bit more. And I think that's what Snell does with their helmets. That decal means we've tested that helmet model to make sure it meets the Snell standards. And we continue to test the same model as long as the helmet is sold to the public. That's why you always need to look for the Snell decal. You need to try on as many helmets as you can to see if that helmet matches the same shape as your head. It's much like buying shoes. An expert in uh, helmet fitting has uh, explained to us that as many as 90% of the people that he encounters are wearing helmets that are at least one size too big for them. The helmet that I learned to ride on was definitely too big. It was very sloppy, and I told my husband I needed a new one, so he bought me one for my birthday. And uh, if it hadn't been for that helmet, uh, I am quite sure I would not have survived. I've had some pretty bad crashes where I fall and the helmet's not tight enough around the face. You fall and you hit so hard the helmet comes off. I want one that doesn't smash my face, but I want one that's snug where it doesn't, if I shake my head at all, it doesn't move around, doesn't bounce around. I urge people to put a helmet on and wear it a while. Make sure there's no pressure points. There's several motorcycle shops that allow you to wear them for a month. If you don't like them, bring them back. No harm, no foul. Trade it for another one. And I did actually come back and I did change the paddings on my cheek because they were a little bit tight. And then I wore that for a month and it, it fit perfectly. It's difficult for a well-fitted helmet to get all the grip it needs to maintain its position on a person's skull. So we rely on well-secured chin straps to help that helmet uh, complete its function. Take the strap, go through both D-rings, pull it up through, uh, go over the second one, back through the first ring, tighten it down, make sure it's snug, tight to your face. That's pretty much it. Um, my recommendation would be um, not to purchase helmets on the internet. You can't try them on, you can't see if they fit right, and probably one of the biggest issues when purchasing on the internet is not knowing if that helmet's ever been in a major accident. Your head isn't one of those things that you can just say, oh, well, to. It's, it's just silly to, to, to even consider going budget on your helmet. That's, that was like the first thing I thought. I was like, wow, I couldn't be here. I might not be here right now if it wasn't this helmet. According to the trauma surgeon and the uh, paramedic staff and the emergency room staff, the helmet saved my life. My mother's comment when she walked into the hospital room was, I hope this has taught you to care about motorcycles. And I said, no. <laughs> and then for Christmas, five years ago, my husband bought me a, uh, a trike. My seventh graders think it's really cool. As long as I'm enjoying it, and as long as I'm careful, I figured there's no reason why I can't go on riding as long as I'm able to.